students from Osborne. Bethesda Chevy Chase. And Chantilly meet today on It's Academic. Hello everyone, I'm Hilary Howard. Welcome to It's Academic, now in its 61st season, thanks to title sponsor David M. Rubenstein, encouraging you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. And thanks to platinum sponsor MITRE. MITRE is a bridge and convener of government, industry, and academia, bringing together the whole of nation to tackle some of the biggest challenges of the 21st century. Speaking of tackling challenges, <laughs> let's meet the first team. It's Osborne High School from Manassas and Jamil is the captain. Hey, Jamil, tell us about your team. Uh, hello. So um, today we have Edward Hernandez of Violet Four in Black. And as our alternate, we have Ryan Westcott. Wonderful. Really glad to have you guys here today. And Jamil, let's learn more about you. What do you uh, do in school besides academics? Um, well, I am a 17-year-old junior, and I'm currently attending Osborne High School. Uh, something about me is that I am currently enrolled in the Governor's School at Innovation Park, which is a collaborative program with George Mason University. That's beautiful. And what are you working on specifically? Um, it's a STEM-based program. So we take um, a university forms of classes. Uh, so biology, or there's different strands. So there's like biology and chemistry and those different things. I'm currently in the biology strand. Wonderful, is that what you wanna do? Yeah. That, Very yeah. good, really happy to have you here. Hey, Violet, tell us Hello. what you like. Hi. Um, I am Violet Fortin Black. Um, I'm a junior at Osborne and I play cello for the school's orchestra. Lovely. And what kind of music do you prefer to play with your cello? Um, I don't really think I have a preference. Um. <laughs> anything. Anything works. And anything sounds really good on the cello with those low, wonderful sounds, right? Yeah. Does your whole body vibrate when you play? I, I've always wondered. Um, I don't think you vibrate, but I feel like you kind of have to like sway with it. <laughs> <laughs> so you dance with your cello. Maybe a little. <laughs> Very nice. Hiya, Edward. Um, what gets you going? What inspires you? Hi, uh, I'm Edward Fernandez, and I am a 16-year-old junior at Osborne High School, and I volunteer at Prince William Hospital in my free time. Beautiful. And what are you doing for volunteer work? Typically, I help with guest services, and I guide guests to their rooms. And is that something you're interested in doing, or just your way of, of feeling more complete? I love it. Yeah, that's wonderful. Well, we're really glad to have you guys with us. So let's jump into this first round, okay? Uh, in this round, questions are worth 20 points. The good part is nothing is off for a wrong answer. So here we go. Osborne, a cut each time. It's your time to earn 20 points if you find what hidden word that describes any angle measuring less than 90 degrees. Conferring acute. Oh, final answer, acute. Yes, it is. Gratitude, a small payment, sympathy. If I were to offer you condolences, I would be offering you which of these? Conferring, uh, conferring sympathy. sympathy. Yeah. Final answer, sympathy. Yes. May 5th, 1961. On this date, what astronaut preceding John Glenn became the first American in space, making a non-orbital flight that lasted 15 minutes? Conferring... Does anybody know? Okay, um, you ready? The answer is Alan Shepard and Blue Origin just sent up a rocket that was named for and his daughter was on the flight. Here's your next question. No US prices. It won't cost you anything if you rearrange the letters in this phrase to name what section of the orchestra that includes the xylophone and drums. Uh, conferring percussion. Yeah. Yep. Uh, final answer, percussion. Yes, it is. Nicely done. We will walk every mile with you. President Bill Clinton said this when welcoming what first black president of South Africa, whose autobiography was titled Long Walk to Freedom. Confirming. Uh, conferring. Um, I'm thinking 
Yeah, Nelson Mandela. Final answer, Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela is it. Well done, Osborne, 180 points. How about we meet the team from Montgomery County's Bethesda Chevy Chase. James is the captain, and James, I know you want to introduce us to yourself and the team. Hello, my name is James Blue. I am a junior at Bethesda Chevy Chase, and I run track. And I'm here with my excellent teammates, Aiden Lash and Claire Wong. So do you do cross country or do you do speed? I typically run distance. That's nice. I can never do that. I'm like, I do a mile. I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> it's good to have you, James. Hey, Aiden, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Aiden. I'm a junior at BCC uh, and I play tennis. Wonderful. You've been doing that for a long time? Uh, yeah, yeah, for a long time. Competitively? A little, I try. <laughs> a little bit, all right, all right. Hey, Claire, what are you up to at school or outside of school? Um, I focus a lot on art and playing soccer. Oh, wonderful. What kind of art do you enjoy? All types of mediums, but I mostly do digital art. Nice, very good. Well, we're very happy to have you here. Let's jump into the first round, huh, BCC? Here's your first question. Henry VI, Kin Gone. You won't need kinfolk if you can find here the name of what Norse seafarers who raided the English coast? Conferring. Viking. Yeah. Viking, final answer. Yes, it is. Unrehearsed, delayed, professional. Which of these words best describes a performance that's impromptu? Conferring, unrehearsed. Correct. Final answer, unrehearsed. Yes, it is. October 14th, 1947. On this date, what American pilot became the first person to fly faster than the speed of sound? Conferring uh, Chuck know. Yeager. Yeah, that's it. Final answer, Chuck Yeager. Yeah, nicely done. Go itch. Start from scratch to rearrange the letters in this phrase, and you'll name what style of architecture seen in medieval cathedrals. Conferring Gothic. Gothic. Yeah. Final answer, Gothic. Yep, it's Gothic. Nice. What a glorious morning this is. Sam Adams wasn't talking about the weather when he made this remark about the defeat of the British in 1775 at what New England town near Lexington? Conferring Concord. Concord. Final Conquered. answer, Concord. Yes, it is Concord. Nicely done, BCC. You've got 200 points. How about we meet the team from Fairfax County's Chantilly High School? The captain is Griffin. Hey, Griffin, introduce yourself and the team, please. Thank you. My name is Griffin. I am a sophomore, and my teammates are Haley, who is also a sophomore, and Arian, who is a freshman. Great to have you guys here. Really happy to see you. And uh, Griffin, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? What do you like to do at school? What do you do after school? I am a member of the student government. I am in Santilli's leadership class and I'm involved in various after school clubs. What's your favorite? I you would maybe one? say Best Buddies or the Friends Honor Society. Oh, that's really wonderful. And, and what do you get out of that? What does it do for you? Best Buddies is just a place where I can relax, make friends, and just have a good time. The French Honor Society allows me to further my study of the French language, which I plan to pursue in college as a translator or as someone who would like to become maybe a teacher of French. I am oh. not exactly sure yet. That's what I'm in the college research process for. Well, that's great. It's really wonderful to hear that. Haley, how about you? Um, so hi, I kind of, I like to read, I like to play instruments and listen to music and stuff. I play the piano, I play the guitar, and I play the ukulele, and I half-heartedly tried to play my brother's trumpet. That doesn't go very well. <laughs> and, um, I'm also pretty interested in photography. Oh, yeah? Do you take a lot of pictures? Yeah, I don't have an actual camera, but I, my iPhone storage is full. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, it's great to have you here, Haley. And Arian, tell us what you're into. Uh, yeah, my name's Arian. Uh, I'm a freshman at Chantilly, and I like, um, I'm, I'm like really interested in science. So, and I do a lot of science clubs at school. So, yeah. tell, tell us about them, which science clubs? 
Uh, so I'm in Science Bowl and Science Olympiad, and I think Science Bowl is probably my favorite club. What yeah. kind of science really does it for you? What uh, most intrigues you? Uh, chemistry. Chemistry. Why? Yeah. It's just like really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think so too. All right. Well, how about we jump in and do this, Chantilly? Here's the first round question. Ready? A sore muscle. You can end the pain here if you find in this phrase the name of what mythical Roman, the twin brother of Romulus? Probably. Remus? Yeah, Remus. Remus, final answer. Yes, it is. Accidentally, with malice, swiftly. Something that is done inadvertently is done in which of these manners? Inferring accidentally. accidentally? Yeah. Accidentally, final answer. That is correct. The Russians beat us in the space race on this day, April 12, 1961, when what Russian cosmonaut became the first man to go into orbital flight? Uh, it's like, Yuri I don't know something, how to say it. right? It's like Yuri Gagarin. Yeah. Yeah, you've got it. Some rash pig. It would be rash to call this phrase pointless since you can get 20 points by rearranging the letters to name. What device used to measure earthquakes? Seismograph. Seismograph, yes, final answer. That's it. I am awaiting the hour of my public murder. These words are in a letter written by what abolitionist who was hanged in 1859 after he led a bloody raid on Harper's Ferry? Nat Turner, I believe. Inferring John Brown? Oh yeah, it might be John Brown, you're right. John Brown, final answer. John Brown is right, and Chantilly, you have 200 points. Do you like pictures? Because we have the picture perfect round next. I'm David Rubenstein. From the Kennedy Center and the National Archives to the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, I've been pleased to support many important organizations and historic sites linked to American history, art, culture, education, and more. I believe giving back to our country isn't just an idea, it's an action, a patriotic action that involves all of us. And it begins with education and learning about our nation's past so that we, the people, can make a more perfect union for the future. We can do it together. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. Let's dive into this picture perfect round where questions are worth 20 points up or down, 10 points off if you don't answer. Osborne High School, here's your first question. This page from the Egyptian Book of the Dead was created on what substance made from plants and used by Egyptians instead of paper? Inferring uh, okay, papyrus. Uh, papyrus. Uh, final answer, papyrus. Yes, it is papyrus. At how many points does the graph of this equation intersect the x-axis? Conferring two. Two. Final answer, two. Yeah, you've got it again. The red shirt worn by this individual indicates that he is what man who led an army of red shirts in the 1860s fight to unify Italy? Conferring, does anybody know? Uh, pass. The answer is Garibaldi. But you're doing well, Osborne, 210 points. Hey, BCC, it's your turn to play the picture perfect round. Here's the first clue. This painting depicts what historic prison that was stormed at the beginning of the French Revolution? Conferring Bastille. Correct. Yes. Final answer, Bastille. Yes, it is. What value of X will satisfy this equation? Conferring um, negative four. Yes. Final answer, negative four. Yeah, that's some good math. It's negative four. This woman's face never made it onto a coin, even though she was painted by what same artist whose portrait of George Washington was adapted for the $1 bill? Conferring. Pass. Pass. I'm, uh, it was Gilbert Stewart, but really well done. BCC, you've got 230 points. All right, Chantilly, time for the picture perfect round. Here's your first clue. This is Tutmos, an ancestor of what Egyptian boy pharaoh whose tomb was discovered in 1922? King Tut. 
King Tut, yeah. Tell it, yes, final answer. King Tut is right. Solve for X. Uh, three. Nine. Oh, three, yeah, three. Wait. Yeah. Wait, no, that, that's wrong. No, wait. Answer? Oh, yeah, it's nine, it's nine. Nine, yeah. Nine, final answer. Nine is right. Alexander the Great, or Alexander the Third, as he is listed on this chart, was the son of what king of Macedon? Conferring King Philip? Uh, yeah, I um, don't know. So. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I, that, king, that's Philip, king Philip, final answer. King Philip is correct. Very nicely done, Chantilly. You've got 260 points. These teams get a lot of support, and we're going to meet the people who back them up. Coming up in just a minute. Hello, I'm David Rubenstein. Did you know the huge cargo ship Ever Given that ran aground and blocked the Suez Canal last spring was owned by a Japanese company, operated by a Taiwan company, managed technologically by a German company, flew a Panamanian flag, and had an Indian crew? The six-day blockage brought much of global trade to a standstill, with damages estimated at billions of dollars. I'm David Rubenstein, reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. Okay, everyone can take a breath. It's now halftime when we get to meet the team behind the team at Osborne High. And let me tell you, this is a star-studded team. Jamil, introduce us. So accompanying us today is our principal, Mr. Flugraff, our superintendent, Dr. Newman, uh, Manassas City Public Schools board member, Mrs. Spall, and chairman, Mrs. Seberg, our academic team coach, Mrs. Cook, and finally, our alternate, Ryan Westcott. Awesome. Kudos for getting all of that out, by the way, Jamil. <laughs> that was a long list. Well, let's start with the big guy, Superintendent Newman. It's not so often we have a superintendent on the show. So what inspired you to be here? Why did you show up? I try to support our, our, our students in all of their events. Uh, I want them to know that I care about them and love them and, and want to support them, uh, not just during the school day, uh, but also during their extracurricular, extracurricular activities. That's a beautiful thing. And school board chair Seberg, I would imagine that's similar for you. Yes, we're so proud of our students from Osborne. Hi, Eagles. And um, thank you for representing Osborne and Manassas City Public Schools. So we have another person from the school board there, and that is Ms. Spall. Tell us, uh, tell us what you're feeling. Uh, hi, I, I just wanted to uh, try to support, uh, be there to support the, the kids today. I um, am a new school board member, so um, but it's academic is near and dear to my heart. So I'm very proud of all of them as well. Oh, oh, that's right. You were just mentioning a little while ago, your son was on the team from Osborne not too long ago. Yes, that's true. He that's very great. much enjoyed um, the, all aspects of it. it's academic. Well, please tell him hi from all of us, the whole team mm -hmm. here. Uh, Principal Flugarth, it must be wonderful to see these kids get together to represent your school so well and um, exhibit their love for knowledge. It is. We're so proud of them. Um, this is a point of pride for Osborne High School. Uh, these amazing students and their coach, Jen Cook. Uh, we love them. Perfect segue to you, Ms. Cook. You work with these students intimately, so you really get to know them. Tell us about them and uh, your interactions. Well, this is a whole new team for its academic. None of our students here have competed before. So we are all excited to be here and have them represent Osborne. And it's been a pleasure for me to get to work with these students and get to know them this year. All of them, they are hardworking, dedicated, and ambassadors for our school. Speaking of ambassadors for the school, there's somebody who's on the team. We just don't see them up on the Zoom for, throughout the whole show, and that is an alternate named Ryan. Hey, Ryan, uh, tell us about what it's like to be on the team. Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm a 16-year-old junior at Osborne, and I am so proud of this team. They have worked really hard. Beautiful. It is so good to have all of you here. What a show of force in support of this school. Thank you. And thank you for supporting its academic. And now, Team Osborne. It's time for the packet round. In this round, questions are worth 20 points, but don't sweat it. Nothing off for a wrong answer. If you get all of the questions right, there's a 25-point bonus. So here we go. First question. Ignoring disapproving travel agents in 2013, Sarah Alton became the first woman to row a boat from Japan 
to what northernmost U.S. state? Inferring uh, Maine. Uh, um, oh, final answer, Maine. No, Alaska. Can you imagine rowing from Japan to Alaska? Eek. Sunrise is the appropriate title for the first movement in Fer de Grofe's orchestral suite named for what great gorge in Arizona? Uh, conferring the Grand Canyon. Um, final answer, the Grand Canyon. Yes, it is. Here's your science question. Chlorine, hydrogen, nitrogen. When steam is passed over red hot iron, an oxide is rapidly formed. This is evident by the evolution of which of these gases? Conferring <laughs> hydrogen. hydrogen yeah. yep. um, final answer, hydrogen. Hydrogen, it is. Nicely done. In a mythical bake-off contest, what classical goddess of grain might have taken the cake? Uh, um, conferring Demeter. Final answer, Demeter. Yeah. Once upon a time, an old woman named Katharina Vimon told fairy tales that were later written down and made famous by what German brothers? Conferring, Conferring the Brothers the, Grimm. Yeah, the final answer, the Grimm brothers. Yes. Here's your next question, your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. Conferring 40? Yeah, 40. Final answer, 40. No, it's 200. President Truman exercised his authority as commander in chief during the Korean War when he fired what five-star general for insubordination? Uh, answer. Conferring. Anybody know? No. In three, uh, two, one, pass. you're gonna know it when I say it. Douglas MacArthur. Osborne, you have got 290 points. Back to the halftime show with Bethesda Chevy Chase. Hey, James, tell us who's with you. Today, we've got our contestants as well as our coach, Ms. Lassar, and our assistant principal, Ms. Adamson. Wonderful to have you both with us. And we'll start with you, assistant principal Adamson. Tell us about this team and what they mean to BCC. They're a great team and we're very proud of them and their endeavors. And we just hope they do as well as they do all the time. That's uh, that's good. They're a good team. Hey, coach, what's it like to work with them? This is the kindest and friendliest bunch of students <laughs> that we have ever had on the team. It is hard to pull them from their lunch bunch into the room to crush practice. Uh, but when they're there in practice, they're so welcoming on the ball and supportive of each other. Awesome. Well, we're, you're supportive of them. So we're really grateful to that and so happy you're here. Thanks so much for being with us. Now, we get to dive into the packet round, BCC. Here's your first question. Using Pompeii Airfield proved a bad idea for the U.S. Army in 1944 when what volcano that centuries earlier had wiped out the town of Pompeii erupted again and destroyed 88 bombers? Inferring Vesuvius? Yes. Final answer, Vesuvius. Yes, it's Vesuvius. For several weeks in 1784, the Second Continental Congress held its meetings in what city, now the capital of New Jersey? Conferring Trenton. What'd you say? Trent Trenton. Final answer, Trenton. Trenton is the capital of New Jersey, correct. Here's your science question. When both iodine and starch are present in solution together, a colored reaction occurs. Which of these colors does the solution turn? Conferring red. I, I would have said blue black, but I go with red. Final answer, red. Oh, it's blue black. Sorry. Instead of checking on Amazon, when one of the classical gods needed a new suit of armor, he'd stop by the workshop of what god of the forge? Conferring. It's like Hef 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 Hephaestus. 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 Yeah. Final answer, Hephaestus. Very good. A town in Ireland gave its name to what type of five-line humorous verse that might start, there was a young man named Ted. Conferring... Limerick? Um, hmm? Is it a limerick? Final answer, limerick. Well, if it's Aiden, it's limerick. Is that, yeah, that is correct. Here is your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as an integer. 
conferring nine final answer nine yes it is on his way to fight in the greek war of independence poet lord byron sailed on a ship named for what south american revolutionary nicknamed the liberator conferring bolivar yeah. final answer bolivar yeah that's it nicely done bcc you've got 350 points Let's continue our halftime introductions, this time with Chantilly High School. Griffin, who's with you? I have the Chantilly team coach, Mrs. Ken Karamath. Hey, it is wonderful to have you with us, Coach. What's it like to work with this team? Oh, these are the most fantastic kids. I love these guys. They brighten my Wednesday. Anything, and it, if kids can make a Wednesday better, you know they're wonderful. <laughs> hey, who's the dog next to you? Well, this is my son's dog, Tartuffe, who is uh, visiting us currently. Um, please ignore her. She uh, will go away if we don't pay any attention to her. So earlier you had a very energetic sort of salutation. Would you like to share it with the team as they move into this next packet round? Ta-da, go kids! <laughs> go Great. Chargers! Thanks so much for being with us. We really <laughs> appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Thanks. And uh, Team Chantilly, she likes you. <laughs> so maybe that'll help you get through this packet round successfully. Here we go with your first question. Although they themselves don't take selfies, the four presidents carved on what South Dakota mountain frequently do have their pictures taken by tourists? Mount Rushmore. Sorry, Mount Rushmore. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Mount Rushmore, Mount Rushmore, final answer. Thank you. The words, let there be light, that appeared on libraries endowed by Andrew Carnegie were taken from what first book of the Bible? Genesis, is that the first one? Yes, Genesis, final answer. Genesis is right. Here is your science question. When floating freely at one third of its depth, a 625 pound boat displaces how many pounds of water? 100, 416, or 625. Uh, wait, how heavy was the boat? 625 pounds. Burring. It's, uh, I think it's uh, the second one, 416. I need an answer, please. Uh, 416. 416, final answer. The answer is actually 625 pounds. Hmm. Here's your next question. The Greek god Zeus was in a red hot rage when he had what Titan chained to a rock and mauled by an eagle for giving fire to mankind. Prometheus. Prometheus, yeah. Prometheus, final answer. It is Prometheus, nicely done. There are only four chapters in The Red Pony, a short colorful story by what author who also wrote of mice and men? John Steinbeck. Yeah, it's John yeah. Steinbeck. <laughs> Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. 11, 11. yeah. 11, final answer. 11 it is. Slavery was originally banned in Georgia at the insistence of what man who had founded the colony in 1732? James Oglethorpe? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I go with that. Yeah, you can James go Oglethorpe, final answer. Oh, I'm so glad you went with it because Oglethorpe is right, Chantilly. You've got 380 points. The very exciting or electric lightning round is next, so stay with us. I'm David Rubenstein, and I believe giving back is something we all can do. Students are getting involved in their communities in many important ways. I've asked them to share with us how they're making a difference. Hello, my name is Tu Long and I am a senior at Osborne Park High School in Manassas, Virginia. I am an officer in my school's Key Club and National Honor Society chapters. So we, I not only do I do a lot of volunteer work, I also coordinate it. Um, I'm in charge of coordinating volunteering between our students of OPHS and the local food bank that's actually right next door to us. So it's always nice to have kids um, walk over to a food bank and help out their community and see that local impact, not just sending in cans and that's it, actually seeing the impact that they can make. That's very important to me. 
Like these students, you too can help improve the lives of so many people by volunteering in your town and community. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. It's the moment you've been waiting for. It's the lightning round. Now you've got 45 seconds to answer as many as 10 questions. They're worth 20 points up or down, but this time nothing off if you pass. Ready, Osborne? In this round, all answers must begin with the letters O D A. That's D as in dog and A in three, two, one. This scientist developed the theory of evolution. Erwin. Yes, this is the home city of the NFL Cowboys. Dallas. Yes, this ancient Persian king was known as the Great. Uh, pass. pass. Darius, father of Icarus, this mythical man built the labyrinth. Uh, pass. I mean. Daedalus, this was a type of early photograph. Pass. Daguerreotype, this Old Testament hero escaped unharmed from a lion's den. Daniel. Yeah, this is the capital city of Syria. Damocles. Yes, this Turkish strait was once called the Hellespont. Pass. Dardanelles. He's the spiritual leader of Tibet. Oh, there's the buzzer, and I know you knew this one. It's the Dalai Lama. Nicely done, Osborne. You've got 370 points. Bethesda Chevy Chase, it's your chance to play the lightning round. Here we go. All your answers must begin with the letters D, E. That's D as in dog and E. In three, two, one. This is Colorado's Mile High City. And then. Yes, there are 10 competitors in this one Olympic event. Pass. Decathlon. Pass. In a Shakespeare play, she was Othello's wife. Desdemona. Yes, the capital of this Nordic country is Copenhagen. Denmark. Yes, this same word describes a pack of cards and the floor of a ship. Deck. Yes, this socialist ran five times for the U.S. presidency. Pass. Debs, this valley is the lowest geographical point in the country. Death, Death valley. valley. Yes, Lloyd Austin is the current secretary of this cabinet department. Defense. Yes, this early morning condensation is found on various plants and surfaces. Do. Yes, this isotope is known as heavy hydrogen. Yeah, you've got it. It's deuterium. By the way, I misread one of the questions. The answer was decathlon, so I'm going to give you guys one more. Here it is. This unit is used to measure loudness. Decibels. Yeah, that is right. Bethesda Chevy Chase, you have 530 points. Nice job. Chantilly, it's your chance to play the lightning round. Let's do it. All your answers must begin with the letters D, I, that's D as in dog, and I. Ready? In three, two, one. This U.S. coin is worth two nickels. Dime. Dime. Yes, Anne Frank kept this type of literary record. Diary. Yes, Diary. there are two complete sets of chromosomes in this type of cell. Hippoid. Yes, this Roman goddess was equated with the Greek Artemis. Diana. Yes, he wrote David Copperfield. Dickens. Pass. Yes. Dickens. This is the name of the Japanese parliament. Hmm. Pass. Pass. Diet. She was the legendary founder of Carthage. Uh. Okay. Pass. Dido. This yeah. is what the D stands for in the CDC Government Health Agency. Disease. Disease. Yes. This German engineer. And there's the buzzer. This German engineer invented the engine that bears his name. The answer is diesel. Chantilly, you did a great job. You've got 500 points. Hang on, because in just a minute, we'll have the scores. I'm David Rubenstein. From the Kennedy Center and the National Archives to the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, I've been pleased to support many important organizations and historic sites linked to American history, art, culture, education, and more. I believe giving back to our country isn't just an idea, it's an action, a patriotic action that involves all of us. And it begins with education and learning about our nation's past so that we, the people, can make a more perfect union for the future. We can do it together. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. 
The scores are official. We begin with Osborne High School from Manassas. Jamil, Violet, and Edward, 370 points. From Fairfax County, Chantilly High School, Griffin, Arian, and Haley, 500 points. And coming back for the playoffs, Bethesda, Chevy Chase in Montgomery County, James, Claire, and Aiden, 530 points. Way to go, guys. You all were fabulous. And please make sure you stay with us for next week when we have Montgomery Blair, Osborne Park, and McDonough. Until then, I'm Hillary Howard. See you next time. Bye, everybody. I'm David Rubenstein reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference.